Hello. This presentation describes how mirabigron and solifenacin are equally effective at reducing voiding dysfunction caused by psychological stress in female mice. This work was completed at the Centre for Urology Research at Bond University in Australia. This work was supported by an Australian Government Research Training Programme Scholarship and a research grant from the Australian Bladder Foundation, managed by the Continence Foundation of Australia. Clinical evidence suggests that psychological stress is linked to bladder dysfunction, such as overactive bladder and interstitial cystitis. Experimental data from rodent studies of psychological stress supports this, with evidence suggesting that psychological stress plays a causal role in development of bladder symptoms. We have previously shown that the water avoidance stress model results in an overactive voiding phenotype. Mirabigron and solifenacin are commonly used clinically to manage the symptoms of bladder overactivity. However, there is currently a lack of evidence supporting the use of these drugs for bladder dysfunction induced by psychological stress. Therefore, the aim of our study was to determine if mirabigron and solifenacin are effective in managing the changes in voiding behaviour and intrusive contractility induced by water avoidance stress in mice. To achieve these aims, adult female mice were randomly allocated to the unstressed, stressed, stress plus mirabigron or stress plus solifenacin groups. Animals in the stress group were placed on a central pedestal surrounded by water for one hour per day on 10 consecutive days to complete a water avoidance stress protocol. Mirabigron and solifenacin were added to the drinking water of animals in the drug treatment groups. Voiding pattern analysis was used to determine if stress or drug treatment affected voiding behaviour in animals over the course of the experimental protocol. After the 10-day stress procedure, isolated whole bladder studies were completed. Bladders were catheterised with a three-way catheter attached to an infusion pump to allow distension of the bladder, a pressure transducer to record intravesical pressure and an outflow tap to empty the bladder. Measurements of bladder compliance, phasic activity, contractile response to agonists, nerve evoked contractions, as well as quantification of urethelial mediators was completed. Voiding pattern analysis revealed that 10 day stress exposure or treatment with mirabigron or solifenacin did not significantly affect urine production with no significant change in total voided area measured as seen in figure A here. There was, however, a significant increase in urinary frequency with stress exposure. This was a six-fold change by day 10. In animals that were stressed but treated with mirabigron or solifenacin, this change was not seen. Voiding behaviour in the mice treated with mirabigron or solifenacin was similar to that of unstressed control animals. A hormonal stress response was confirmed by measuring plasma corticosterones at the end of the 10-day stress protocol. A significant increase in plasma corticosterone levels were observed in the stress group when compared to unstressed control animals. Interestingly, a significant decrease in plasma corticosterone levels were observed in the solifenacin-treated animals, and although not significant, a similar decrease was observed in mirabigron-treated mice. Isolated whole bladder responses to muscarinic stimulation with cumulative carbocal concentrations were measured, with no significant difference in the PC50 values observed between the groups. However, the maximal response to carbocal was significantly enhanced following 10 days of stress exposure. Maximal responses in the solifenacin and mirabigron groups were not significantly different to the stress or unstress control groups. When the response to carbocal was normalized to the KCL response, no difference in maximal response or PEC50 was observed between the groups. The phasic component of the response to carbocal was also quantified. And while the amplitude was unchanged, the frequency of contractions was significantly enhanced in the stress group and the stress plus mirabigron groups. However, 
Treatment with solifenacin significantly reduced the frequency of phasic contractions to unstressed control levels. Other outcomes measured were not significantly changed. These included relaxation to the beta adrenoceptor stimulation with isoprenaline, nerve evoked contractions to electric field stimulation, and release of urothelial mediators ATP and acetylcholine into the intraluminal and serosal fluid. Mirabigron and solifenacin treatment significantly decreased voiding frequency compared to animals in the water avoidance stress group. The observed change in voiding phenotype, despite continued stress levels, shows that these drugs are effective at managing the voiding dysfunction caused by psychological stress. While there is evidence that both mirabigron and solifenacin can reduce the associated symptoms of anxiety and depression in clinical studies, here we observed that oral treatment with these drugs reduced the hormonal stress response. Central and peripheral muscarinic and adrenergic receptors have previously been linked to the regulation of corticosterone release, and the reduction in the stress response may contribute to managing the voiding changes associated with water avoidance stress exposure. Drug treatment did not significantly alter the increased contractile response to carbacol caused by stress, suggesting that the changes in contractile responses may not be playing a causal role in the voiding dysfunction observed in these mice. This is the first preclinical study to show that management of bladder dysfunction caused by stress can benefit from the use of an antimuscarinic such as solifenacin or the beta-adrenoceptor agonist mirabigron.